Greetings from down under, local Spokane area churches. Just want to take a moment to talk to you about the importance of prayer. One of my all-time favorite statements, top five favorite statements from the pen of Ellen White, is from the book The Great Controversy, page 525. And it says this, It is part of God's plan to grant us in answer to the prayer of faith that which he could not bestow did we not thus ask. And what I love about this is the basic principle of prayer, and that is, in some amazing, inexplicable, wonderful way, prayer frees God, enables God, to do what he couldn't otherwise do if we didn't ask. Jesus himself said the same thing in the Sermon on the Mount, didn't he, when he said, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door will be opened. Well, the precondition for the answer is the asking. And we are preparing, as you know, for a series of meetings, actually two sets of meetings, the ones that the local area churches and pastors will be holding, building up to a meeting in November, November 12 to 15, that I have the privilege of uh, conducting, a sort of reaping meeting. It's going to be five or six presentations built around the gospel, built around the three angels' messages. And as we're building toward that, I am in prayer, and the local area pastors are in prayer. Many of you are already in prayer, but I want to make as the preacher, as the presenter, an impassioned appeal for you to be much in prayer about this, because God can do for us what he couldn't otherwise do. Not that he wouldn't do it, but that he couldn't do it because of the terms of the great controversy, the way that this is all set up. Prayer frees God, enables God to do what otherwise would be unavailable even to him. One of my very favorite friends and, and, and speakers and writers in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Ty Gibson, a man well known to many of you. I love what he says. He says, prayer is an act of war. Oh, let that sink in. Prayer is an act of war. And when we think about it, we often think prayer kind of harmless, kind of nice, you know, the quick prayer before you're going to eat some food. Father, bless this food to the nourishment and strength of our bodies. Amen. And too many of these prayers just flow easily and glibly almost off of our lips. But I'm inviting you in preparation for these meetings that are coming up, October, November, to be deep and earnest in prayer that God will put his spirit on and into the hearts of those that are attending, both the saints and the visitors. I'm looking forward to being there. Uh, I'm praying, I'm preparing, I'm praying, and uh, I'm inviting you to do the same. Join me as we partner in prayer, getting ready for this series of meetings. I'm praying for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I'm asking you to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In fact, I'm praying that you'll pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And it's just been a privilege to work with John Stanton and the rest of the pastoral team there. We've had a number of conference calls back and forth. And as we build toward this, I'm looking forward to something great. I hope you're looking forward to something great. But not, let's not just look for it. Let's not just hope for it. Let's pray for it and let's work for it. Let's make it happen. Let's make an impact for Jesus. Let's make an impact for the kingdom. Let's make an impact for the Three Angels Messages in Spokane in 2014. God bless you all, and I'll see you actually just pretty soon, just a couple months from now. Take care. Bye-bye.